Delivery? Knock knock. Huh. Delivery. Hey, open the door, please. I got your package right here. Knock knock. FBI, open up, please. No? Oh gosh. I'm ashamed of you, mortal. You were supposed to open the door and greet me and take your package from me. The most amazing, wonderful delivery woman ever exists in this age. And you just passed that opportunity up. I'm disappointed in you, mortal. You know what? I think it's time for me to just move on from your town and going back to the town of Providence Oaks where we will be going with Meredith to deliver a package and letters! <laughs> yes, we have to pick up the movie to Lori, yes. Alright, and we got a movie night scheduled with Lori as well on Sunday. Alright. So, yeah, I think let's just go. I think we already talked with Frank yesterday. And I already took a picture of him. Right, Frank? I already took a picture of you, I like this job, right? But nothing beats winning a bet against the odds. You know, Frank, I think instead of betting on a baseball team, I think next time you should try playing gacha game. You should fight the RNG there. Or I don't know, play Baldur's Gate maybe and try rolling the dice. I think it will like fulfill your sense, your adrenaline, your gacha adrenaline, okay? You know, I actually haven't taken like a really close-up walk around the boss office. I haven't taken a look at that trash bag, yeah, trash bin over there. And this one as well, stamp mail. I didn't realize we have that box. I didn't even realize we have this chair over here. Okay, everything. <laughs> I just realized that I haven't been taking a closer look around the post office, around my own office. But yeah, that's it for now. Let's just jump Morning, into. PO. Oh How yeah, I forgot about this one. Mm -hmm. Will it be a positive? Tina Banks has the answer. PO positive. Okay, Tina Banks. Jack, I've had this pet peeve for years. We've got a beautiful lake and a nice boulevard. Mm -hmm. Why don't we have one of those coin-operated binoculars? I like the idea, Tina. Hmm. Let's take a closer look at today's weather now. A few clouds, but nothing but sunny skies in the end. And now, music. All right. Music, okay. And who is... Tina Banks. I don't know. And, and I don't know. And Tina Banks. I'm pretty sure I haven't been introduced to any Tina Banks in town. But alright, let's just um. Okay, let's just go out from here. Wait. Uh, let me check. So I have to turn left here. Alright. Coming through! One mail truck coming through! Okay, sorry to block your way, sir. Alright, this should be the place. This should be the home, I think. Uh, let me... Yes, go up to the passerby road. Alright. And let me check. 102. 102. Please tell me I got a package of 102. Oh, it could be 104. I might be wrong, apparently. Oh, the music! <laughs> Alright, knock knock. I think this is the house, 104. I hope no one's home. I hope they're all going on vacation. I hope they're all working right now, just like me. Okay. Alright, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Ooh! <laughs> Thank God! Okay! Alright. I delivered that one as well. Where should I go next? I can't remember my way around this place. 
even though I think I have been playing this game for quite a long time, I still can't remember like my way around. I can just like, oh, vintage street, and then I just like deliver, like just navigate my way through there without the help of this navigation feature. Can I like turn on this? Okay, and then go back to the main road. Oh yeah, I can. I can. Also, I think last time I mentioned that I want to play this. Um. Oh. Okay. I I'm pretty sure I already took a turn, like a right turn over here. But yes, I think last time I mentioned that I want to go and play this with Dung Dung and together we will sit over here on this small park on this small sightseeing place right in front of the lake because they got a deer statue and I want Dung Dung to see that deer statue but judging with how chaotic my driving is in the last video I'm not very sure I want to bring him with me because any crash might happen at any time. And not not and let's not talk about the last episode. Even right now, in this video, I have already crashed like two times already. I think that speaks level about my driving skill. But that's why I don't think it's the right time for me to bring Doom Doom just yet. <laughs> okay, wait. Um Where's that package? Oh no, what is that? I don't see you! Oh, a fire hydrant? Too short, fire hydrant! Move away, please! Oh my god, I can't see that fire hydrant! It's too short, okay? Be tall, like, like this tree lamp, like this electric pole, they're tall, and I can see them. And I can fight them, excuse me. Okay? They got two cars, so it's fine if I add like one more. One more car? Okay. Sorry, th there is a little bit of accidents here. It's fine though, I check and I think your car is perfectly fine. Okay, this is the last of my package for today. Let me deliver this one. White truck and that um I don't know what is the type of that car. I just know it's colored in army green. Ah oh, look at that! They're so close with each other. They're playing nice. They're chatting, conversing. Okay? Knock knock. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's always nope. about no answer. The doorbell. Hope nobody okay. comes and steals this. Alright. Okay. And honestly, uh, a lot of this house, they have friends, of course, but their front door is like open wide. It's like a very, very open sesame wide. Anyone can just come and steal that, actually. It's very obvious, okay? Oh, that's, that's the package. And then just sneak in, okay? Grab that and go back, I don't know, to your house, to your vehicle. No one will notice. I mean, look at that! It's a pretty empty neighborhood. No one's around. No one can see you. Who can tell on you? No one. Okay, maybe maybe that little barbecue stand can tell on you. No, of course not. So, yeah, this this um, the security in this town is a little bit confusing. Of course, it's a little bit scary. Nice garden, by the way. I love, I love the garden. Look at that. They get like a small tree house. Wait, I want, I want to check out the house first. This small tree house. Uh, is this like a house for children to play with? I don't think so. Huh? Wait, what? There is no door. There is no door at all. So what's the function of putting that small house 
over above there in the tree if they don't have any door, any holes for anyone to go through. Huh. Excuse me, owner, where did you bought that house? I'm pretty sure IKEA doesn't have that. That's, um... A strange but unique way of decorating. I can't say that I don't like it. It looks... It looks actually... It looks good from this distance. But when you get closer to that small house... And then you actually take a look around that small house... And notice there's no door... There's no hole. You will get confused. Like why would why would you put a small house up there without any door, any holes, any window? By the way, where's the next house? Um, I think I should go this way, right? Okay. Um, excuse me. All right. Oh, I'm pretty sure I did not hit that fence. Just, just a sound, just a little sound, of course. Let's go. Uh, this should be the house. Okay. Someone should be inside. I see their car. Unless they got two cars, like that house over there. Oh, by the way, they got two cars. Someone should be at home. Or maybe a lot of people should be at home. I don't know, maybe they just... A bunch of introvert people. They don't want to socialize with me. A delivery woman. Which is nice actually. Because I don't want to socialize with them as well. So it's a beneficial. It's a mutual feelings. Yes, I don't want to. Huh. Wait, there is a small road over here that I never realized. And I want to try like walking this road. It leads to the Bear Creek as well. I want to try, but I have to get Lori's movie first. So maybe... Uh, get Lori's movie, and then we will come back here, and then... We will try going that way. Oh, I, I think... I think it leads to the mountain. Yeah, the road over there is a little bit hike. Alright, let me just turn right on this. Let me pick that movie up from Lori and then tomorrow we can watch Nightmare on the Elm Street. And then we can hear Freddy moving his claws against Iron, yeah. Making that ning sound. Oh, that's her. Hey, Lori! I'm here to pick up the movie. Did you finish that already? You should, okay? I think... I mean, it's just like hey, two hours. Did you watch The Love Bug? Mm -hmm. Hey, Miss W. Yes, I did. And I guess I liked it. Ah! You don't have to hide it from me, Lori. You can say you loved it. I guess it wasn't bad. It was really fun, actually. Uh -huh. See? Ancient isn't all bad. You still ready for Sunday? I have never been more ready. It's going to be rad. Rad? What? What is rad? <laughs> I I don't know. I don't know the slang for this kind of thing, but yeah, totally tubular, right? Uh, sure, Miss W. Uh, see you Sunday. Oh, I guess that's not funny. Want to know a fun history fact? Mm -hmm. The first automobile was built in 1769 and was steam powered. Oh. Yeah, and did you know a fact as well? You are inside a game and it's featured in Steam and right now I'm playing you in from Steam, yes. Same same Steam, right? Steam powered. We are both Steam powered. The automobile and this game, both are Steam powered. Okay, time to try out that road. I definitely want to try out that road. Okay, I have to be really careful here. This is a gas station. One wrong move, one wrong crash, and then it will be just boom. Yep, we're not risking that to happen on us. Let's go back. All right, and... Yeah, Lori should definitely have finished with the movie. I think the longest it could be is like two or three hours. Just, just wait until she learns about Korean drama. 
that thing, that thing has like 12 episodes, 25 episodes with like one hour Ooh. episode? Yeah, one this hour per episode. This is close to where I had my first kiss. Huh! Meredith? Don't, don't bring up that fact so suddenly, okay? And why are you kissing in the woods? On the mountain? Why are you kissing with a potential serial killer? Please don't tell me that Robert is actually the one... Oh, there is a deer sign! I have to be careful when walking, when driving around here. Okay. Please don't tell me that Robert is the one that you had your first kiss with, Meredith. Okay. I want to take a look around, see if I can get the chance to maybe see a deer. So that next time, if we play with Dung Dung, we will bring Dung Dung here and... We can look for deer together. He can be introduced to his kind. He had been socializing with me a lot. He needs to socialize with his kind a lot more. Like deer to deer, okay? Not deer to vampire. Alright. Ooh. Alright. I don't see any deer. So sad. I was hoping to be able to see like... I don't know, maybe one deer crossing the street just to check our driving skills. But at the same time, it's dangerous. I don't want that to happen. So yeah, let's just continue on this road. This should lead us to Bear Creek as well. And then we can deliver our letter to him. And... Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of wood. I guess he really is a carpenter by day. And serial killer at night. Maybe. Okay, just my assumption. <laughs> Alright. Oh, he's here. Outside of his house. Oh no, I hate socializing. <laughs> Okay! Can we just like... Pretend that we do not notice him? And just go strike in for the mailbox? No? Uh -huh. Oh no. Here's the mail. Thanks, Meredith. And, um... Sorry for leaving all of a sudden yesterday. Yeah, no problem. Leaking roof done fix no themselves. Leaking roofs don't fix themselves. Well, it was just... I needed some space. I think I've gotten a bit too used to being on my own. Mm, okay, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Cool. Thanks. I just don't want you to feel weird about it. I was the weirdo. There's nothing wrong with that. It's okay. I don't I didn't feel anything. There's nothing wrong with a little weirdness. Mm -hmm. I just wanted you to know that. Anyways, let's see what's in the mail. Okay. A dentist appointment. Wait, why am I sharing that with you? True. Why are you sharing that with me? Why do you have this habit of opening your letter in front of me? I mean, I don't open my online shop package in front of my delivery man. No? So, yeah, and I think if I open my package in front of the mailman, he's going to be confused like... Okay, why is like there is this anime figure inside? <laughs> Things like that. Okay. Um. So, no news regarding those apartments? Nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This gives me a bit more peace of mind to work on my wild card plan. Okay, good luck with that. Okay. Good luck with that. Thanks. Okay. I'm not going to question him further. He mentions about him having boundaries, so I don't want to like trap more on his boundaries. I want to respect his private space. Yes, his boundaries. If he doesn't want to tell, that's fine. Although he could be a bit over sharing, just like previously when he ripped open the letter immediately in front of us. Alright, let me. Oh no, this is tricky. Why would he park his car over there? That's blocking my way, actually. That's actually hindering my 800... 
No, 180 turn skill driving. Okay. Excuse me. Nice. Okay. Oh. Uh, a little bit bang. There's a little bit bang sound, but I'll just pretend that I didn't hear that. Okay. Where should I go again? <laughs> Is this the right way? I forgot. Wait, let me check. Oh, yeah, this is the right way. Okay. But there is a road leading up, and I'm curious. I want to know. What is waiting for me up there? Maybe another day. Not now. Not now. We are about to walk into a cabin. Okay, a cabin that is most likely... Ooh, I missed that. I'm, I'm, I was under the impression that I'm going to crash on that electric pole. Good thing I missed that. Alright. But yes, we are about to walk straight into a cabin that could possibly be featured in a survival horror game. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's all peace and nice and relaxed and chill and cozy. Oh, 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 okay. Hmm. This truck is a little bit shaky, Goose. I think you need some repairman. I think I need Lori to fix you. I don't know what is wrong with you. You feel shaky lately. The control feels shaky, okay? Goose, I think you are sick. Okay, this is the place. Uh, let me turn here. <sighs> Definitely looks like a dangerous place. Okay. Definitely looks like a secluded place. Okay, I see a cabin. Look, even the cabin looks like it's straight from a horror game. Okay. And then let's just continue on for now. I think we should turn right over here. Is there like a cabin in here? Um, okay. Is this the same mailbox? Let me check. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty close to my truck, so if anything wrongs happen, I can just run. Okay, run immediately back to my truck. Okay. Meredith, you're not going to comment that someone is living in the cabin? No? Ooh, cabin in the woods! <laughs> Definitely looks so scary, okay. We are we are going back home. Well, not home. We still got yes, this one, an unknown meal to be delivered to the campground. Okay, let me jump back to my goose. Okay, this is the safest place in the world, right inside my goose. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, this is a little bit tricky. Back up, back up, back up. Ouch. Hang in there, Goose. Please don't don't broke on me just yet. Okay. Time to go back. I'm not going further into all these cabins to find out if all the houses in this place looks the same. Ah! Okay. Oh, why am I going forward? Backward, back, back. Back, back, okay. Okay. <sighs> That's a little embarrassing. I don't have any plan to crash on that, but maybe I might have speed up just a little to avoid like staying in that place too long, of course. Alright. Let me wait, I wanna check. I want to check like if maybe that guy you know that receptionist guy is here? Oh, he's here. Let me check. I'm I'm curious. Is he still playing the same game? Excuse me, sir. Oh, I think from the way he is moving his body, he is still playing. 
Okay. Got mail? No? Then why are you still here? I'm here to mock you, okay? I'm here to disturb you with your gameplay, okay, sir? Oh my god. All he does is playing game. Like me. <laughs> no. No, no, no. But yes. No, but yes. I don't know how to explain that. But yes. I just want to... What is with me and all of this crashing nowadays? I... Uh, no! Oh my god, you were too long, car. Oh wait, there's a small purple flashy inside that. That's cute. Okay. Uh, let me go in here. Alright. And turn right. Yeah, turn on this way and continue to the campground. I'm pretty sure the campground is right before the diner. Oh, and we're about to pass through the farm as well, I think. I think this area is... Yes, a farm, a campground. Ooh, can you hear that? That's the sound of the water rushing from the dam. Ooh! I love this! I love the environment. I love the music, the ambience. The ambience is top-notch. I don't know if I have said this in my previous videos or not but i'm going to wait i missed that road excuse me all right i missed that road to the campground why is it that i always miss that road i think the first time i tried to go to visit the campground as well i kind of miss this road yes let me just go in here oh there's a fan has it always been there the fan? Who's that? Is that... Um... Tina... Tina Banks? The same Tina Banks? Okay, let me... Wait, is there any mailbox that I can use to... Put my letter in? Are you a mailbox? I don't want to talk to them before I make sure that there is no mailbox around this place. Are you mailbox? No, no. You are... What are you? Five Nights at Freddy's camping ground version? Um... This is the map. That's a trash can. I don't see any mailbox around. So I'm guessing I just have to give them straight to... These two person? These two people? Excuse me? Hello there. Hey, how are you? I may have mail for you. Is it addressed to Mickey or June? Or both? To Minnie, to both. your Here previous you wife. Oh, sweet brother Damien, savior in the hour of darkness. Never mind him. He's a bit stressed out. We were a bit low on paper. Nice to meet you. What's your name? I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you, too. Woo! Huh? Okay, so we get like two pretty girls, two pretty women chatting with each other, getting to know each other. June, Meredith, and then Mickey just suddenly cut off with like, Woo! What are you doing, Mickey? What I kind of paper? paper? Probably a bit of cash and some rolling paper. Ah, toilet paper? Ah, that kind of paper. <laughs> no harm in that. Amen, sister. Thanks for the delivery. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, I want to compliment the RV. I like the RV. Nice RV, by the way. Is it yours? Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's awesome. We borrowed it. Joan, can you get in here, please? Now? Oh, that's my cue. It was nice meeting you, sweet Meredith. Can you, like, not tell the authorities your whole life story? Huh? Huh? That's so suspicious! Are they, like, underrun? Like a criminal underrun? 
And why are you telling her to go inside the fan? If you run out of toilet paper, what are you guys doing inside there? I want in. Let me in. I'm an authority here, of course. As you said, I'm the most amazing, wonderful delivery woman in this town. So please get out. FBI here. Wait. I don't think June is that young. And I'm tempted to use autopilot again. I'm really, really tempted to use autopilot for this, but I'm going to hold back on that, of course. And we will just go on our way to Angie. Because I actually want to try going on this road, this lake road, yes. I want to find out, is there any hidden building like the church that I don't know exists? Okay. Oh yeah, like cabin, church. I don't know those exist if I don't like took up my time to try walking that road. So yes, I'm really curious and I want to find that out. Okay. Uh, huh? Wait, there is someone there. Wait, I see someone. And... Can I talk to him? Excuse me! Okay, let me bring my truck here. Is that um Jack Reynolds? I don't think I don't think that's Jack Reynolds. Let me talk to can I talk to that guy? What is he doing in all this field? Okay, I'm creeping up behind him. Pokeball ready. Okay, we are closing in. Oh, is he? Cutting things. Oh, I can talk. Wait, talk to men with metal. Hi there. Sorry, pardon? Hi there. Oh, hello. Hi there. Can you still hear me? I wasn't expecting a metal detector here. Uh, I, I'm not a metal detector, actually. Huh? Then who are you? You're not. You kind of look like one. Oh, thanks. Had worse compliments, but uh, no, th this the, the thing I'm holding is called a metal detector. The person using it is a detectorist. Ah, ah, right. okay. Are you looking, yeah, for anything? Are you looking for anything in particular? I'm not sure what I'm looking for, to be honest, but I guess that's part of the fun. Saves me from disappointment as well. Is he British from the way he is talking? I like I like the way he talks. I like the way he talks so much. And what is that? The Tactorist? Why does it sound so cool? The Tactorist is like the word of doctor and terrorist being merged into one. That sounds cool and scary at the same time. Okay. But I guess you wouldn't mind digging up a treasure. Yeah. Although maybe that's just what I'm telling myself when secretly I'm hoping for treasure. <laughs> Even a penny can be worth a treasure. Oh yes, metal detecting is a surefire way to become a millionaire. Whoops, did I just reveal the world's best kept secret? <laughs> no worries, it's safe with me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to get back to it now. I need to be our MDC later. A metal detectorist club? A metal detectorist club? Nice. A metal detecting club. We compare finds, we discuss the hobby. Sometimes our club president gives a talk on things like buttons. 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 Ba 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 buttons. Ah. Oh. Mmm. Could be good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, nice meeting you. It was nice to meet you, too. Good luck! Huh? Oh, there is an achievement for talking to him? Huh? Who are you, sir? Okay, I can't talk to him anymore. But I have to admit, I like the way he talks. I like his accent so much. Like, he could talk about metal detector, about buttons, detectories, things that I'm not sure I can understand. But I will still keep listening to him. I like, I like 
like his accent. I like his voice. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Goose, open up. Let me in, please. <laughs> Don't just get angry to me, Goose. Please let me in. I know, I know that I have crashed you like a lot, lot of times, but we are pals. We're buddies. We're best buddies, okay? You and me together cruising the streets, okay? Partners in crime. Okay, I deliver letters and you deliver me, Goose. We're we're backing each other's up. Okay, we got each other's back. So yes, don't don't just hate on me, Goose. Don't just lock me out from you, Goose. We need to keep these communications going, okay? Um, wait. This is the road, yep. I'm taking... Oh, I'm sorry. I took the wrong side of the road. Okay. Mm, let me check. Uh, no. Uh, I want to go straight over here first so that I will appear on the north of Angie's shop. Yes, let me just take this road. Hopefully, hopefully nothing bad happens because it's starting to get dark. It's already in the evening. Ooh, okay. And I think this is like a pretty empty street. Nothing here. And there have been a lot of deer signs around, but I don't see any deer sign. If this is what they have in the game, deer sign, but without deer, then I definitely should bring my own deer. Okay, time to bring Dung Dung later on. Oh no, a police car. Okay, pretend that we can drive. Pretend that we have exceptional driving skill. Okay, we... Okay, nice. Nice, nice. We evade... Oh, another police. Time to pretend. Yes, pretend that we are someone with a long driving experience. Experience and we're home. Okay, that's my home right there. That's my girl's home. Excuse me. Okay. Nice. Time to okay. Take out the movie box. This should be in here, right? All right. And let's take it back to Angie. Angie, Angie. Good day to you, Angie. I finished the task that you gave me, Angie. Oh, she looks cute with that black blazer. Hi, Angie. Oh, hey. So, hey, I dropped off and picked up those movies. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Um, yeah, is everything okay? Is everything okay? You don't seem your usual peppy self. You don't know me, Meredith, okay? This can be a stressful job. Uh, whoa, whoa, okay. Um, oh no. She's suddenly snapping at me. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Um, okay, I'll leave you be, okay. I guess. I know a thing or two about stressful jobs. I'll leave you be. Yeah, uh, actually, now's not a great time. There's two more movies on the counter. If you could deliver those, that'd be peachy. Hmm. Jaws and Ooh, the Dirty Jaws. Dozen. Yes. I'm on it. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. Mm-hmm. Great. Thanks. Appreciate it. Bye. Oh, okay. She is not in the mood to talk, which is fine. Some people got their bad days and some people got their good days. It is perfectly fine. Although that little bit of snapping could do some work, of course. I got really shocked when she snapped at me like that. But okay, Jaws and... What is the, the other movie? I don't really remember. Alright, let's go back to our track. I hope you feel better tomorrow, Angie. Today might be a bad day, but you will never be a bad person in my book. Except until you commit criminal activities, of course. All right. Oh, we still got to deliver things. Okay. Let me deliver this to Mr. Mackey Mackel Mackem Mackenzie. I forgot his name. Like his previous night name. 
I know, okay, he's called Burke, but I forgot. We don't call him Burke before that. I'm pretty sure we don't call him Burke before that. We, we call him with another name, but I can't seem to remember what name that is, okay? Speeding up, okay, we need to deliver this speed flash to Mr. Burke. Okay, I guess I just have to stick with calling him Burke for now. Alright, in this turn and we will go straight down, okay? No! Why are you over there, Threes? You are blocking my way, excuse me. Alright. Stop! Nice. I press the brakes on the right time. <laughs> Let me take out the movie. Although, oh yeah, is it fine to... Like... Jaws is like a, a movie about shark, right? Basically, it's about a deadly fish that can bite you and bring destruction to you. I, I I remember watching that in the in the local television here and I was so amazed by that movie. Despite like the amount of blood being shed in the movie, of course, but to have like a fisherman watch that movie wait, where's my, my movie back? Why 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 is that hand like that? Meredith, you don't have any movie with you. Go back to the truck. Okay, pick up that movie box. Why are you acting like you were carrying something when you were carrying nothing, Meredith? Okay. Huh! Huh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Could be back, of course. Although now she is... Okay. Acting like she had something, although she had nothing actually. Oh, he's down over at the dock. How can I reach you? Okay, Mr. Mackey, I've got oh, this Mr. Movie box Mackey. For you. Leave it on the porch of the cabin, could ya? I need to know which movie you I prefer. I need to know if you prefer a war movie or a shark movie. Huh? Movies? Uh, just pick something. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. Question, question, guys. Like, will you give a fisherman a movie about fish that can bite you? Or will you give him, like, a war movie? I don't know about the Dirty Dozen, by the way. I know Jaws, but I don't know... What is Dirty Dozen? Should I search for that on the internet real quick to know, like, if that could be the movie that he likes? Okay, I have searched up the movie over on Google and they actually got a lot of sequel as well, just like Jaws, because I'm pretty sure there is like Jaws 2, Jaws 3. So I guess both is a good movie, but the question is what would you give to... You know what? I think I'll just give him Jaws, okay? Maybe he will enjoy that. Maybe. I mean, it's a lake, right? He's going to fish on a lake, not a sea. So the chance of him meeting a shark is like all time low. All right. Jaws it is. Have a nice day. I hope you will like... I hope you will like it. Mr. Mackey, I hope you will like the movie. I hope, okay? And yeah, we can talk to him, right? And I can swim to him as well. Okay, time to go back then. Time to go back to the post office and call it a day. Because you know what day is tomorrow? It's going to be Sunday. And we get a movie night with Lori. Ooh, let's go! We have reached our destination. Please drop off, Meredith. Okay. But that means we don't have anything to do during the Saturday evening. Hey, Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just like instantly dialed your parents' number. Ah, the best friend! <laughs> Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or 
maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. Know what I mean? Oh man, I had that once when Barry bought me lilacs and the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? What if it's like that with old phone numbers? You go, must dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. If you do want to join, I'll be at the watchtower overlooking the lake at 11 a.m. Sunday. I'll probably hang around a bit, so I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. Go, let's meet up with everyone. The Countess and the Carpenter. Ooh, Chapter the narrator two. again. Cecilia hated old Mr. Nabenshoe's table manners. The way he slurped rhubarb into his digestive system was quite the dampener on Cecilia's appetite. She wanted to get out of here and drink and dance with the common folk. Every night, she heard their merry noises travel through her bedroom window. The sounds of real life. Amazing. It's just amazing. Um, what is it with added 87? Okay. Oh yeah, because it's Sunday. We have a day off, right? I'm pretty sure that we don't have to... Oh, did she make a weekly diary about her life in Providence Oaks? Fine, but yes, I'm pretty sure I don't have any deliveries and letters job during Sunday. Or does like mailman and delivery man works like seven days a week without any day off? Okay, I should have like read her monologue, but yes, I I forgot actually. Um. Up here! Hiya! <laughs> Should I just come up? Come on up! You just have to watch your step on the third ledge. Should be good. I have to what on the what now? I have to what on on the what now? It's fine. Cross my heart and hope to die. Scout's honor. If I die climbing this tower, tell my parents that I love them and I think they definitely should make another child to replace me. Just if I die though. Hope I don't die climbing this tower. Alright, let's go. Oh, we done! <laughs> okay! It's that third step, right? I'm surprised no one's fixed it in all these years. <laughs> So glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? Ah, uh, Two best friends talking with each other, meeting up with each other. Ah, uh, This brings back memories. Yes, yes. Sure is. Oh, that view. Gets me every time. <laughs> Sounds like you're starting to remember what's great about P.O. Oh, P.O. actually means Providence Oaks, yes. P.O. Providence Oaks. Oh, I guess I just realized that. Every day, every morning, I heard the radio. I heard Jack Reynolds speaking on the radio about P.O. Pet Peeve. And I don't know, why would you call your radio P.O.? And I just realized that it actually stands for Providence Oaks, okay? Those times we took some pie up from the diner after school and sat here talking about whatever we felt like. Oh, yeah. How about that afternoon I snuck in some beers from Uncle Stan and they were really disgusting and you puked all over the rail? In fact... <laughs> really? Is that kind of where you're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was. <laughs> Ew, Oh. Did you have to bring that up again? I was not counting on getting that much in touch with my younger self. <laughs> I'm glad you're back. I kind of oh. missed having you around. Oh, such 
such a wholesome conversation, okay? And honestly, if you ask about my own opinion about this, I feel like having a best friend, especially a childhood friend that still have connection with you until you are this old, like Meredith's old, is actually a precious thing. Okay, talking with your best friend after like a whole busy week is like a way of healing in some kind of way for me. For me, it's like healing, okay? Because you can be free, you can talk about, well, a lot of things about past, about people, about your life. It's very healing. It's very healing, yes. I feel the same way. Aww. So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. Oh. And maybe now it's time for something different? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what I should choose, but be, maybe I basically, yeah. I basically what? worked my butt off the entire time. That's both positive and negative, I guess. Oof. That doesn't sound like a sustainable life plan there. You okay? Yeah, it just... It gets a bit busy sometimes. Hmm. I can imagine Providence Oaks is less complicated. Well, maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. Ooh, that sounds Ooh. juicy. Is this about something or someone? I, I want to know. Please invite me in this conversation. You two may be besties, but we can make the two goes from three. Add, add me, please. I want to know the piece as well. I don't know, like, which one, like, among all of these people that we have been introduced to, like, which one that Meredith is actually interested to. But yes, I'm glad we can have these adult conversations now. I'm glad we can have these adult conversations now. Oh, there she goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm backing off. No. Now I want to ask about Kay. Okay, this is really wholesome. I like I like this scene. I think this is my most favorite dialogue conversation so far in the game. What about you? How have you been? I mean, really, really, really. It's been great, and it's been tough. You know, I guess it's like that for everyone. I mean. I wanted to go to art school, yes, but turns out I wasn't good enough, or at least that's what they told me when I applied. So Aww. I decided to stay and do my own thing, make music, perform and stuff, you know. I picked up some shifts at the diner, Barry and I reconnected, we got married, and then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? No! He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but... I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz going in Portland. Lined up a few interesting gigs. Tough to balance, but fun. Oh, that sounds exciting. That sounds exciting. Yeah, just like that, Uncle Stan got sick. Uh... Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was, just about to get somewhere with my music. But I just couldn't let them down, so I stayed. Helped out nursing Uncle Stan, picked up his shifts at the diner. <sighs> okay. Suddenly it looks like a really sad turn. But at the same time, that's life, okay? There are failures happening in your life. There are unpredictable things happening in your life and you have to make a hard choice between A and B, like which one that you will choose because that choice that you make is going to change your life forever. Oh, this hits hard, okay, but... um, I can't imagine what it must have been like to make what? that choice. Yeah. I see where you're going, but honestly, I count myself lucky in a way. It gave me time to assess. Mm. 
Where was Barry in all this? Barry was actually really great. Mm -hmm. He divided tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. Aww. And what now? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. <laughs> The way things ended up, it may not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most precious moments of my life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there oh, for no. long. He basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own right here in good old P.O. And one day, those kids will hurl <laughs> all over this rail just like we did. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's been tough, but looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. That's so great. That's great actually. And yes, I feel I feel the same way with K. Maybe life doesn't go as you plan sometimes. Maybe you can be angry at first because you had to make some choices that you feel it's not yours, like it's not really what you want, but later on, I feel like when you look back, like maybe after a few months, a few years after you make that choice, and you look back, you will be grateful for that. You will be grateful for the choice that you make. And well, I'm not a person, well, maybe it's a little bit like oversharing, but I'm not a person that regret things. Especially my choice. I want to respect the choice that I make. I live up to the choice that I make. So yes, I really relate to what Kay said, okay? Because we are eventually we are the one who make the choice, right? So we got to be the one to Yes, to do it. To just live up to the choice that we have already made. And Soon, 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 I hope that when we look back to the time when we make that choice, we can say that, yes, I'm grateful, I'm happy that I make the choice. So, yeah, no, no, I'm rambling. I don't know what I'm talking here. But basically, yes, that's so great, Kay. That is so inspiring. I can relate to that. That's so great, Kay. I'm yes? Glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> so, ready to descend to the world below? Yeah. Um, no, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, let's just go with her. Let's just go down yeah. with her. Seems like it's time. Come on, then. Yes, let's just go back down. Okay. Where's that town, by the way? Like, where's that tower? Okay, I think this is the time when we will finally Hello? have a movie you night with... You are speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? Oh, um... Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not interested in telemarketing. But yes, I think what I meant to convey, what I meant to say is... Maybe right now, some of you that are watching this video is going through a hard time where you feel like you are stuck and you don't know where to go. And I can't say that I can totally understand what you feel because what everyone feels, what everyone is going through with their life is different. But... Maybe I can just give you a little assurance that later on, sooner or later, everything will be alright. And please don't give up with life, don't give up with your passion, don't give up with what you want to do. If you want to do something, if you want to make a certain choice in your life, live up to it. And yes, just go for it and let's hope that soon 
you can look back on the time that you make that choice and be grateful that you make that choice <sighs> oh my god sometimes i'm sad that my english is not that good so i can't convey what i want to say properly but i hope i hope you get the meaning that i want to convey to you <laughs> all right let's go let's roast our boss i'm sorry i'm not interested in telemarketing Meredith, so <laughs> it's me, Steve. Please, tell me to calm down. We are so close mm -hmm. to a deal. Add it 87 in shops all across America. M -m 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 monster deal. Oh no, he's so cringe. Okay. Calm down, Steve. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer. Mm -hmm. right? They read our great pitch. They mm -hmm. loved it and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Add it 87 to... Hundred and fifty thousand. Multiply that by like thirty-five bucks. Okay. Yeah, but it's not a done deal. <sighs> That's a lot. But it's not a done deal yet, right? Not yet, but oh, oh, so close. I can almost taste it. Listen, I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Please, please check, check, double check, check it right away. I want your blessings before I sign on the dotted line, okay? Okay, I'll, I'll see what I'll I can see what do. I'll see what I can do, Steve. Awesome. I'll be in touch again Tuesday evening. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. Hey, what was that? It's okay. official. <laughs> Did they finish watching that already? Oh no, and they got the curtains open and I can see it straight out from the window and it's like a horror <laughs> look straight out from the windows. No, no, wait. <laughs> so, do you know that you can have like a love and hate relationship with horror movies? I mean, I'm scared of horror. I'm not going to play horror game. I'm really scared of horror gameplay, but I like watching it. I like watching people playing horror game. Just like I love watching horror movies, but at the same time, I hate the horror movies as well. So it's like 50-50. The, the affection toward horror movies is 50-50. You hate, like a, a, a half part of you hate horror movies and in the other half, love horror movies because you keep coming back to yes to watch more horror movies so <laughs> this is a hard choice but i i love I yes i love horror movies a nightmare in elm street is radical it was amazing okay. thank you for watching with me miss w y you weren't scared we're not going to talk about us we're going to talk about Lori. You weren't scared at all? Nope. Told you. Really? Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. I can't wait until I move out. Uh, wait. Yeah, yeah. What, what age move are you? Out? Aren't you 15 years old or something? Almost 16, and yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love tinkering and I love working mm -hmm. in my father's shop, but... It's just so boring sometimes. I want to see more of the world. I want to meet more people. I'm sure you've noticed, but there's not many teenagers here in Providence Oaks. And I'm homeschooled, so I don't have many friends to hang out with either. Yeah, no, I want to ask, like, what do you want to do after school? What do you school? want to do after school, then? I don't know. My parents want me to work in Dad's shop, but I don't think I want that. And you left when you were younger, so I figured maybe you had some advice for me? Oh, well, maybe. I think... Oh, no, why are you giving the choice to me, Meredith? I'm a vampire. I don't have a degree in computer programming, no. I own a small cafe, and it opens at night, and that's what I'm doing. I'm promoting my cafe to everyone. This is not my life, Meredith. This is your life. You should add your own suggestion. Also, if you notice, there is like a photo frame behind Lori. And I think that's Meredith's parents. And that's Meredith's mother in the photo next to the family photo. <laughs> okay. 
she looks fine. She looks fine and friendly. Yes, but maybe... Maybe you can start traveling, maybe, if you want, of course. Maybe once you're done with school, you can start traveling. Go out and see the world, like you said you wanted. Mm -hmm. Look at people, do new things, be a free spirit. I think that could be cool too. But I'd have to get my license first. And a car. But I guess I can save up money while I'm working for my dad anyway. And I've always wanted to see the Smithsonian Museum. See? Oh, oh! Or Sequoia National Park in Cali. Yes, because you have a lot of things that you want to see, right? If you got like a lot of things that you want to see, you want to go to, just do that, of course. But make sure that you pay for your own travel bills, of course. Because, well, I would feel bad for the parents if they had to actually pay for your travel whenever you want to go. See? Plenty of stuff just waiting out there for you to come and mm -hmm. visit. You have two years left of high school, more than enough time to get your license and save up for a car. You're right, Meredith. Thank you. Also for talking to me and stuff. You're very welcome, Lori. I had a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> me too. I should get home soon. Later, Meredith. Later. Bye! Bye, Meredith. Bye. Wait, wait, why Meredith? I'm the owner of the house. Bye, Laurie. Oh, Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Okay. Hey, Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. Well, I didn't see you? you there. The name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. I'm dumb, sir. I don't remember. Oh? I must have missed it. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Did they notice that I crashed the goose multiple times? Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? No, no, is this about me crashing goose all the time? Is that what this is about, sir? Because if that's what... If that's the reason I'm here, I'm very, very sorry. It's not... It's not in my intention to crash goose all the time, okay? It's just sometimes the landscape of this game, they don't like me. They put like a fire hydrant in a place, in an angle where I can't see them. And they place like fans as well to block my driving progress. It's not, it's not my fault, sir. Okay? Oh no, he's talking like all serious and business-like. I'm nervous. Um, yes, well... The gist of it. Can you mm -hmm. remember the segment from chapter oh my God. section three, first paragraph? Where is the door again, sir? I'll see myself out. I'll see myself out. No need to kick me out. I'll just walk out towards the front door, by the way. Is it in my back, in my behind? Let me go out from there. I don't... Of course, I'm not going to remember these things. No, I don't even know they had this rule book, okay? Should I just be honest and say that I'm dumb? That I don't know any rule book existed? I'm sorry, that part seems to have slipped my mind. It says in chapter 11, section 3, first paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use postal service property for personal gain. And what did I do? Is it forbidden to use postal service for personal gain? What did I gain? What did I do, sir? Yeah? Oh. Okay, sounds reasonable. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here. But I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. What kind 
kind of mouth dares to say that? I've been working diligently delivering parcels, letters, cats, movies. Do you know I deliver cats and movies by the way? No? You should know by now I deliver those things as well. So why did you come to that conclusion, sir? Explain yourself first, please. Before I go crashing the goose into the post office, of course. What, what? Why did you say that? If you look up the definition of integrity, it has my picture next to it. Mm -hmm. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. A yes or no will suffice. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes, I know him, of course. He is my senior, of course. He is my um lazy, like to slack off senior. Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him that weren't postmarked? Jack Reynolds, right? It doesn't have um a stem, no, not a stem. Yeah, a stem. I think. Is that is that what you meant, sir? Is that a crime? I thought that I'm just being like a good friend and like help help like deliver the letter, like relay the letter from friend to friend. I don't think you need a stem for that. Really? Yes. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? Oh, is this about Frank? Oh no, is I say yes, is he going to be alright? But he does bets on baseball games. Frank, this is why I told you, you should just install any gacha games in the Play Store and play there if you have like a gacha addiction tendency. You should do that instead of betting on baseball game. It's too obvious. If you do that on your phone, no one going to realize that. No one just will think like, oh, he's betting things. No, no, no. Maybe they will just claim you like someone who likes to collect husbandos, waifus. Yes, those weeping, but that's okay, you're right? Instead of being under scrutiny and then being interrogated like this. Okay, I I'll just answer yes. I don't know what happens here. Yes. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, what is going to happen What's to going Frank? What's going to happen to Frank? I'm sorry, we can't discuss personnel matters. Good luck with the mail today, Miss Weiss. Did I do okay with that? Is Frank going to be alright? Let me talk to him. Frank? Frank, did that, did that guy with glasses also question you as well? Are you going to be okay, Frank? Hey, Meredith. That guy you just talked to. What did he want from you? He was asking all sorts of questions. Also about you, Frank. God damn it! Can you believe that jerk? Are you in trouble, Frank? Trouble? Eh, they're the ones who are in trouble. I gotta get back to it, Meredith. Have a great day. Huh? Okay. I don't know what just happened. Um... Well, if you consider things, if you consider things, we're going to be here for two weeks and it's already our second week. So this is going to be our last week in this town, I think. So maybe that's why things got a little bit more complicated. Like, yes, a lot of things were just going to start being oh, really, really complicated. Yes, I don't know. Maybe... Okay, 
Um, all right, wait, let me save. Top of the morning, P.O. Complaints in Monday mornings, the perfect combo. P.O. positive for that P. Yes? Oh, no. Morning, JR. I'm afraid oh, it's a pet Mr. Mackey. for me again. People who come camping here outside the season just bugger off already. <laughs> <laughs> Loud and clear, Bert. Just like today's weather. We're starting the week sunny, but a few clouds mm -hmm. will appear closer to the afternoon. Enjoy your day and the music. Yes, enjoy your day and the music. Let me deliver this letter, by the way. Okay. It feels good to know about th that P.O. stands for Providence Ox, okay? It's good to understand the things that they are talking now. And wait. Oh, I should... I should like take a photo of those two couples Just in case if something bad happens because the guy looks like a criminal on the run So we can have like a perfect clear photo of the guy in case in case something bad happen Okay, um, I got the parcels right behind me Maybe that's where I should deliver that first. Excuse me Um, okay Yeah I mean, oh no, no, not, not that, not that. Come here, come here. Okay, let me put the waypoint and we're good to go. No, actually we're still not good to go because I still have to do some maneuvering to turn this mail truck, of course. And... Okay, this is the house, okay. I think there will be no one to come out to greet me. I'm happy because these recent parcels and letters, they don't actually require me to socialize with the people. But at the same time, I'm scrutinizing the security around here. That's lighter than I thought. Okay, why are you making that comment? You should be happy it's lighter than you thought, okay? Let's knock on the door. Oh no, let's ring the bell on this door, okay? Should be no one at home. Nope. We'll yes. Answer. It's alright. Let's there put that and run back to our truck. Well, I hope no one... I hope no one comes in here, see that parcels and just take it with them home. Okay. And that should be one more letter around here, right? Yep. This one. Wait, huh? Okay. And wait, I haven't thought about... Um, maybe I should... Yeah, as usual, we're going to be making... Um, oh no, we can just like go here. And then go here, of course. Past the campground on our way home, I think. And yeah, just deliver the models for the last. But I will still need to return to Angie though. So I'm confused which road that I should take. I could just always decide to go through this long road again as well. So we will do like a full turn. Yes. Wait, let me go. Wrong, wrong. This is not the road that I'm supposed to go. Excuse me. Alright, alright. Excuse me. Alright, nice turn. Let's go. Wrong. This one. Okay. Should be alright in here. No, no. Uh, straight first. And then we turn right on that junction over there. Alright. Okay. <laughs> alright. Uh, this is the latter, I suppose. Oh. It has a nice look to it, this house. And they got lavender in front of the house. Ah, oh, looks fun. Okay. Mail! Lavender house! One mail in your mailbox delivered. Okay. And the next one is... Yeah, I think we should like go this way first. And then we will just go... Yeah, do a whole route up to the model and then to the campground and then finally to... Mr. Mackey and see what he thinks about the Jow movie. Ooh! The Jow movie. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Um... Huh? 
wait, wait. Let me... Okay, oh, there is an empty garage here. Let me use that. Excuse me. Ooh, okay. I might be a little bit too motivated. Alright. This is the right way, right? Oh yeah, this is the right way. Okay, let's continue. And then we turn right over here, I suppose. Yeah, I think we should turn right in here. Okay. No! Who put that sign over there? You're causing accident, okay? Stop sign. Move aside, please. When wonderful, amazing delivery woman is going to start the week with a powerful speeding up and then turning right. Okay, this just should be the house. Okay. There is a car in front, uh, well, beside the house, so I suppose... Hello, Mr. Mrs. Anyone inside? One mail in your mailbox for you, by the way. Better check that. Make sure it's not bills or electric bills. Okay, let me just... I'm too lazy to turn back, so I will just follow this road. Because we had like one more letter in the neighborhood, okay? Oh, excuse me. I'm pretty sure there is another house. Another letter. Oh yeah, that one. You can see down there on the minimap. We got like another letter to be delivered. Okay, turn left in here. Alright. And... Is this the house? Yeah, the one with the pine tree, I think? Oh, isn't this like our first house? This is the house that we come... I think this is the house where we got our delivery tutorial. Yeah, I remember it so clearly. Yeah. Okay. I put that. Oh, they got a nice red bicycle. Yeah, if I remember it right, this should be the house where we first arrived to Providence Oaks. And we arrived on that truck together with Frank and... He told us, like, he teach us how to deliver this package. If, 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 of course, if I'm remembering it right, of course. Alright, so... Wait, is this the watchtower? I want to go here. I want to take a look. Yeah, can I go to the watchtower? Wait, let me autopilot for a moment. Okay, because I want to drink my coffee again. Hey, Lori! I should go and talk to her, by the way. Can I, like, take control of this? No? Oh. I think once I press autopilot, I can't, like, take control of it. I can't stop that. Oh, wait. I can. There's a button down there. But, well, we already missed Lori, so let's just continue on. Uh... Is this the way? Oh, yeah. It's actually... Oh, yeah! This is the place that I want to go, I remember, but I decided not to... Wait! Hey, I? You were crashing the car as well? You were as bad as me, okay? Alright, wait, let me go straight up this road. Let's see what awaits us up here. Just enjoying the, the view, of course. Let me drink my coffee. <laughs> the watchtower. My old stomping ground. Okay. And I can't imagine that Kay comes here. How did she come in here? Did they walk by foot in here? Oh. Yeah, so apparently if we like... I think if we like already go through this road before... We will know that there is a watchtower in here. But because, well, this is like... My first time... Coming here? Wait, where's the third stop that they say... Huh? Oh, Tower Watcher. Okay. There is an achievement for that? I was actually hoping to take a look at the third stops that they say is broken, but I don't see any stops broken. But yeah. It looks so beautiful. Okay, let me show it to you guys. I mean, we saw that in the cutscene, but I want to show it like from straight the gameplay. 
Oh my god, no, not this one, not that one as well. This look, oh my god, is heavenly. Wait, I have a camera with me. Yep, let's take a photo of this. Oh, that's... You can, you guys can see that? That's Mr. Mackey's house, okay? And I don't know what, what small island this is, but... Oh my god, the view is godly. Let me take a photo. Alright. We got a photo tucked away. Nice. Can I take one more photo? I want to take a photo of the watchtower. So let's go down. And we will take a photo of that watchtower. Let's go. Walk faster, Meredith. Can't you run? I mean, she's only carrying a letters. Not that much of a letter as well. Because I know letters can be heavy if you had like a lot of them. I mean, took a picture of the watchtower. Ah, this is going to bring back... Oh no, wrong, wrong, wrong. Wait, let me back up a little. I was supposed to take a photo. Wait, hey. Okay. Nice! Okay. This is meant to, I don't know, like make memories. So when she comes back to the city later on, she will have some memories of this Providence Oaks town that she will keep in her heart and hopefully she will come like to visit like once in a while instead of like 20 years not coming back to this place oh no since i come in here using autopilot now i have to pilot my way down by myself okay this is a challenge i'm challenging myself okay let's drive down the road oh no how many bang you here in during my whole journey of going down? No, that's next bang. Oh no, nice. Okay, a little bit slow in here. Okay. Oh, there's another sharp turn. Okay, right in front of us. All right. No, that's that's second bang, third bang, fourth bang. Why are you banging so much? Calm down, goose. Okay. I just got called because of my colleague, Frank. I don't want to get called because I keep crashing you. Be nice to me, Goose. Thank you. Let's go. Alright. Oh, we already arrived down. Wait, when do I... That's five bang, okay? I didn't see you, okay? Oh my god, and I thought I managed to make it down without much crashing. But the last crash is awful. Okay. Now let's go to the motto. I remember the way. From here on out, I remember the way. Excuse me, um, truck. Pick up. Okay, move away. Oh, so many trucks. And they are much taller than you, Goose. You should feel ashamed, okay? Be a bit more bigger, Goose. Although if they, like, make the male truck bigger than this... I'm afraid I'm going to crash it a lot more. Okay. Ooh, another truck. Okay, move to the right. Move to the right. Keep it to the right. Yes, we don't want any crashing. We don't want any crashing happening. Because we plan to bring Dung Dung with us. And I can't do that if I keep crashing you, Goose. Okay, let's go. Straight away by cabin. We're not going to visit that unless we got package or letters to be delivered. Which, hopefully not. Let's just straight down speeding on the road. Oh, that's the model. Oh no, we got to face that guy again. Okay, that gamer guy. Okay, he's so much like a stereotypical gamer. Okay. Gaming all day. Okay. I think his slogan is like, gaming all day, work bye-bye, I think. Okay, let me just took out this package. What on earth did these folks order? You know what, I think he's ordering a gaming console. I think. Or a PC, it could be. Okay. Ha! Nice to meet you again, gaming man. Yes! Still the same old game? Still not finished with your game? Just like me. Okay. 
I wanna try, I wanna try say nothing. I want to know like, what is his reaction if I say nothing? Excuse me, what's this all about? I don't know. Just going to put these parcels right here. Yeah, I don't want to start talking. I don't want to waste my voice talking to you. Oh, I thought I'd not bother you and just deliver the parcel. Mm -hmm. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. Okay, then where do I should dump that? On your face, on your hat, on your hat, on your computer. Yeah, I'd appreciate it if you would act like a human being as well. I'd appreciate it if you'd act like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer mm -hmm. system to handle all the bookings mm -hmm. is quite sophisticated. Uh-huh. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, interesting. I work in computers too. Delivering computers does not mean that you work in Oh, computers. you should see my programming degree. And by the way, playing game also doesn't count as working in computers. I play games, but I'm dumb when it comes to my own computer, okay? Yep. Just like playing games also doesn't count as working in computers. Don't you have more computers to deliver? I don't know. I know I shouldn't have talked to you, Motel guy. He's so unfriendly, okay? And the way he talks, I think when he plays like multiplayer games like Valorant, League of Legends, Dota, he's going to be the toxic player over there. Okay, such a toxic mouth. You have Motel guy. Wait, why am I insisting to go there? I can always exit from there. From here, I can always exit. Okay. Bye bye, Motel Guy. Please do not order anything during this full week. I beg you. I don't want to have any interaction with him. So please hold back on. I'm not ordering anything, sending any letters for this whole week because after this whole week, I'm going. I'm going to eat myself out of the town. So just hold back on one week, okay? That's all I ask of you, computer guy. Alright. Come on, Feminas, let's go. Ying, 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 ying. We're going to. Okay, I'm not going to miss that road like last time. Or like last, last time. Okay. I should take a photo of him, by the way. Of that motel guy. Or maybe not. Because he makes me really annoyed at him. Oh! The girl is all alone. The girl. Excuse me, everyone. The girl is all alone, which means it is time for us to creep closer to her. No, photo first. Photo. Fo photo first. Photo. Okay. Look here, June. Nice. Okay. Still hoping that we can take a photo of um, her male companion, though. Mickey? Yes. But he isn't here. So we'll just talk to June, I Hi, guess. Hi, sweet Meredith. Hi there. Ah, Here's the mail. Oh, Meredith, hey. sweet. Okay. And I love her freckles. Oh my god, she looks so sweet, so beautiful, so cute. Okay. On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Huh. What? Why would he have that? I mean, I gave the Jaws movie to Mr. Mackey, not him. Why Why is he having nightmares about fish when he doesn't even watch Jaws? Okay. Did he have too much of the stuff that makes you feel funny? Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. Huh! How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. I don't have... I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea how that happened. I mean, there is a choice that says I may have a suspicion like you are some genius with 200 IQ, but I have no idea how that could happen. Oh, is it because of Mr. Mackey? Is he the one throwing that... Trout? 
he, he goes fishing, right? Yesterday. So, oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and he's being featured in the radio as well, right? He mentioned something about people camping near the lake. So, I'm guessing... Yeah, it's him. Yes. I may have... Oh, hold on. Mickey's got to read this. <laughs> Mickey! Wake up, honey! Leave me alone. I'm still shit-faced. It's a letter from Damien. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Ah, uh, where are you going? Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. Ooh. We will be picked up this Thursday, early in the morning. For good? Canada? For good? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two, you know, and talk about the meaning of uh -huh. life, of course. I know. The complete outdoors experience. Wetness day. I don't have any plan for wetness day, so yeah, let's. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah let's not? just try. Joan! Awesome. Gotta run. See you Wednesday after sundown. Shut up, Mickey. Go back to sleep. I okay? read your newspaper. <sighs> Don't involve me. We're having a peaceful, nice chit chat between two girls here. You're not invited, Mickey. Go find your mini, by the way. <sighs> oh gosh, that guy. All right, let's just um return. And I'm pretty sure we already delivered all our letters. Yep, all checked out. So, we are left with picking up the movies. Yes, from Mr. Mackey here. Of course. Alright, let me just drive straight here to Mr. Mackey. Woo! And yes, I don't know what, what is the business with those two. I mean, I think they're... Yeah, probably smoking weed, I think. And just that. Um, but they don't... Like, is that all of the illegal stuff that they do? Then why... Why is Mickey being so protective? Like, don't speak to her. Like, to Meredith. He's calling June for befriending me. Befriending Meredith. Why? That guy is a rat flag, June. You should just laugh him. Be with me, June. <laughs> Okay, turn left in here. Now I remember the way to Mr. Mackey on the back of my head. I can talk to you guys and I still know like which turn that I should use to take me to Mr. Mackey. Okay? But I still don't know how to control the brake to this thing. Yep. Nice. No banging sound. Okay, that, that one is so smooth. I'm pretty sure you don't hear any banging sound. Let's go! Okay, Mr. Mackey. I'm actually nervous, okay? Because Joe's is actually, well, my favorite movie. I like the movie too. Okay, wait, what? Yes. So yes, I like the movie. I like the Joe's movie. So right now, I'm very, very nervous to know what Mr. Mackey thinks about my movie option. Will he like it? Will he love it? Will he hate it? I'm nervous. I hope he likes the Jell movie. Yes. Mr. Mackey? Hello? Hello, Sharky? Do you Hi like there, the movie? Meredith. I suppose you've come to pick uh -huh. up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. Yes. The movie box? Uh -huh. Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did, I did. Took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Good watch. Yes. Shark looked a bit <laughs> fake, though. Okay, yeah. Pretty exciting, right? I saw it in the theater at the time. Pretty exciting. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well... You gotta get it back yes. to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. 
See you around, Mr. Mackey. And by the way, if you like dolls, Mr. Mackey, you will like their cousin. It's Mac, okay? Yeah, I remember that movie as well. I like I like when fish going violent and just committing destruction everywhere. Yes, that, that I think that speaks to you a lot about my personality, my interest. I'm sorry. <laughs> But yes, both both movies are, are cool, okay, are amazing. I like watching that. Jaws, Max. I think I think that's all. I think that's all the movie that has like file and fish inside it, I think. Alright, let me put it back with the movie and time to deliver it back to my sweet girl. I hope she's not having a bad mood today. Okay? Going back, going back, let's go. Back, back, back up, back up. Turn, turn. Okay. Back up, back up. Turn right, alright. I'm acting like... Okay, I don't know if this exists in other countries, but here... In this place, in this area, when you are parking... You will have someone that basically like unofficially will help you park. And then he will say things like, yeah... Back up, back up, back up a little, and then like a little bit to the left, a little bit to the left, and a little bit to the right, a little bit to the right, and and then later you will tip him for helping you to park, things like that. I know the official job for that, but it's like a parking job, yes. I don't know if that exists in other country as well, but in here, I think everywhere you go, you will see like someone that will help you with the parking. Those those kind of parking job, parking men. I don't know what to say that. All right, let's um. No, why do I need to look at the map? I remember this town already. Why am I having suddenly an insecurity of me not remembering the place, the road to? My AG, excuse me, let me turn right here, let me park it here on the alley. Alright, what is that honking sound that I just hear? You are... Huh, why are you stopping there? Do you need someone to help mind the traffic, ma'am? Ma'am? Ma'am, if you look at the, at the cars behind you, you got cars lined up, ma'am? Knock knock, ma'am. Ma'am, they're honking you, by the way, ma'am. Oh my god, she's playing Candy Crush. That's why. Good luck with your Candy Crush, ma'am. Okay. Oops. Oh yeah, forgot. The package in the truck. I forgot. And somehow, this game's mechanic wouldn't let me inside the building if I don't bring like the necessary package for that. Calm down! Oh my god, she's playing Candy Crush! Help them solve the puzzle if you want. That's not on me. I tried to help telling her. Okay. Hi, Inky! New blazer! Hey, here's your movie box back. Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, babe! I owe you an apology. Um... Well... No, I don't think... Apology? Yeah. For what? I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. You yes, deserve better. Yes, of course. Yes. It's okay. No one can be perked up all the time. True, so, true. any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Ah. Nothing's worked so far. Oh, that yeah, that's definitely Ouch. can cause stress. I can imagine stress. that causes quite a bit of stress. I've had kind of a stressful job situation uh -huh. myself recently, so I can definitely relate. Yes, this really? morning, by the way. Deal with it. <laughs> I can oh, no. hear. Change of scenery, huh? Hmm. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and mm -hmm. reward you for your diligent movie faring, my lady. Reward me? Reward yep. me. I've got Tada coupons. They're one of the few perks this job has. Oh, yeah? I get to take myself and a plus one plus to a free one? movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. Is it a date? 
a date, isn't it? Um... It's a date, right? 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 Yes! You mean like a date? Oh, you post people and your labels. But hey, if you want to call it that, sure. So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? I'm in, of course! I'm in 100% in, okay? If everyone goes out, I'll be going in, okay? If I'm the only one going in, that's almost perfect. I'm in. I'm in. I'd love to. I'm in. Let's eight. go. Pick you up at your place at 8. I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye! Bye. A date with Angie. A date with Angie. I'm what? so excited. I love going to the movies. I got an achievement. Yes, yes. Okay. A date with Angie. A date with Angie. A date with Angie. A date with Angie. Oh my god, they're still going on? Ma'am, you still not finished with your candy crush? Oh no, I'm out of here. I'm not going to join on your traffic. That's not on me, okay? That's on you and your um, 600, 600, no, 6,000 level of Candy Crush, ma'am. Let me park it here and... Yeah, we should be going to the movie tonight, right? Okay. Let me pack everything up, prepare myself. It's time to make ourselves look pretty. Let's go! Movie night! Movie night! It's a date! It's a date! It's a date! No? No... No dead mic? Hello? Hey, Meredith! How was your day oh, at the Dad! office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Um, yeah, I was being... Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Yeah! Interrogated? What? By whom? Walter Morgan. Oh yeah, he has a name. I forgot. Service. I just remember him as that straight glasses guy. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Oh, Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? No, I, I wasn't supposed to say that. This, yeah, right? To be honest, I told him that Frank had some suspicious things going on. Ah, uh, okay. Don't worry. It's on Frank anyway. Okay, thank you, Dad. He'll find a way to get out of it. He always does. Listen, Mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. Bye, Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Oh. Dad trying to get work stories out of you. Hi, Mom. Yep, <laughs> he tried. And he succeeded. Yeah. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met the new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. Who? Matt? Who's Matt? I don't remember Matt. Oh, the guy at the model, the gaming guy, the toxic gaming guy. What a jerk! A jerk. Ugh, I agree. Yes, Mom. One of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old PO? It's nice! I met some interesting people, ma'am, and... Not ma'am, mom, yes, and oh my god, talking to death and... Well, Meredith's death and listening to how he says, Don't worry, it actually calms me down because I was anxious like, Oh my god, did I pick the wrong choice? Will that result in Frank being fired from his job? Because I don't want that to happen. But at the same time, I don't know how to deal with that. Yes, now with the whole like interrogation thing so yes i feel like my anxiety just gone with meredith's dad saying yeah don't worry frank will always find his way out of that so i was like Whoa! okay i'm not responsible for that that's good that's great that's nice yes it's nice i met some interesting people that's good to hear interesting people do you mean interesting, mm -hmm. interesting or just interesting Mom, I think it's not the time for love interrogation just yet. Yes, I think but you we could will say just... interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that oh, lets pour more tea. So nice to hear. It's been a while since you've met someone interesting. That's right. 
And now I'm changing the subject. <laughs> yes. How are you guys doing over there? Oh, Florida is fantastic. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy to get used to. Oh, Dad is telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama slammer. <laughs> Alabama slammer? what? Alabama slammers, cheers. Ooh, <laughs> we're going on a date night. And this by is the way, fun. Okay. it's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? No, no, let's let her pick. You are the expert. You pick. You're the expert. That's exactly why I want you to choose the choice of innocent eyes. All right, let's see. Okay, what? Trouble in Little China, mm -hmm. Blue Velvet, okay. or The Great Mouse Detective. Oh no, is there a cheat sheet for this? I want to go for The Great Mouse Detective, I don't All care. Right. I'm ready to pick. The Great Mouse Detective, okay? It's a detective, it's a mouse, and it has great in it. The Great Mouse Detective. The Great Mouse Detective. <laughs> Wouldn't have picked you for a Disney fan. Oh, well, I am let's get a Disney fan. <laughs> How dare you? I am a Disney fan. So that's why I'm so disappointed when they get Sherlock like a Holmes, Mickey But it's a character. mouse. <laughs> yeah! How do they come up with this stuff? I don't know, but I had a blast. Mm -hmm. Oh, that mouse detective really brought out your inner child. You ever thought about having children, by the way? Wow. Wow, you just come right out asking the tough questions, don't you? Oh, I wait, what? that tough a question. <laughs> but then I guess I knew pretty early on that it wasn't going to be in the cards for me. <laughs> okay. So anyway. No, no, that's My so fun, though. Right road, that's just... As you well know. By process of elimination, mm -hmm. I detect that we need to take a right here, dear Dawson. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> so many things that just happened. It's all fun, okay? I did not realize those bots is still going to persist. I thought that, okay, for a moment, when I see all those cars line up, I thought that, okay, they're going to... Maybe stop and then chit chat a little. But did he just go straight through the cars? That's the car box that we just saw. The, the line up with the lady playing the Candy Crush and now she appeared in the car seat. <laughs> okay. Oh. But yes, I love the Great Mouse Detective. I love Mickey. I'm a Disney fan, true and true. So imagine. My surprise when they got someone named Mickey in here and he got like such a bad attitude. I'm so annoyed at him, okay? But yes! <laughs> I wish I loved uh -huh. anything half as much as you love movies. Next time we'll do something in your area of expertise. Next time, she says. <laughs> you mean driving around in a mail truck? Sure. Park it anywhere around the lake and then just enjoy the sunset. Yes, I like the sound of next time, by the way. I like it. We can call this a successful date. Although, <laughs> that can see it with the cars. <laughs> I'm still having fun with that. That's that's so fun. I did not expect that to happen, okay? I like the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. Nice one, Meredith. I'm so glad so, to be your teacher. Here we are. Now what? <laughs> we can choose. We could have a cup of tea at my place. Yeah, yeah, let's have a cup of tea. No, let's have a galoon cup of tea if you want. Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. Not realize we can do that. 
Okay, children, if any of you feels that you aren't old enough to see this, then I suggest that maybe you speed up this thing maybe by 5 minutes, 10 minutes, because I'm sure they will not be kissing for 10 minutes straight. So yes, just speed up the video if you feel like you aren't old enough to watch this, or if you aren't uncomfortable or anything. Because I'm going in! I'm so going in. I'm so going in right here, right now, okay? I'm giving you three seconds to make your decision. Will you stay and watch this scene or will you go and skip this scene? Well, one, two, three. No, that's not three seconds. That is three count. I'm sorry. I'm going in. Elementary, my dear Angie. Morning, Meredith. That Robert Harris guy was here earlier, looking for you. He asked if you could drop by. Who's Robert He's Harris? He's somewhere in the forest today. Oh, the carpenter. Sorry. I got kissed last night, Frank, so I kind of lost my mind. My mind is up in the air. It's on the seventh heaven now. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Frank. Sorry, Robert. I, I don't remember who you are. <laughs> such a perfect scene to end this video okay because well i think it's already past two hours and i don't know if you noticed but recently i try to keep my gameplay yeah around two hours because i'm going to because i don't want to well edit too much because i'm the one editing and well i get like a backup edit as well so that's why i try to keep this like Two hours, two hours between each gameplay, and this is such a perfect ending, okay? A perfect way, a perfect time to end this game for now, yes? <laughs> we, got, we got a very, very successful date. Say thank you to me, Meredith. I'm the best wing woman there is. Oh my god. Just one week, okay? One week. One week and you got your kiss? You got a date? Hmm, so fun. <laughs> Alright, but yes. <sighs> okay, let me take a look at what we have in our notebook, okay? Alright. Um, we need to talk to Robert. Yes, he is asking for us again. I kind of forgot about him for a moment. Like, who is Robert? <laughs> okay, that kiss is so good because I forgot. <laughs> what i was supposed to do i forgot everyone's name i'm sorry but yeah so far we get um parcels and letters oh that's a lot of letters and parcels by the way oh no we got one in the cabin as well and it's very secluded okay oh i hate i don't like that place okay and well yeah i think that's it right that's it for now and yeah let's just end this for now i am so happy i don't know that we can do that i don't know that there is an option for us to have like a romance in this game okay i did not actually research anything about this game i just jumped straight into the game fall in love with the graphic the gameplay the ambience and just continue playing so this is like a huge surprise for me a huge good surprise of course but yes i think that's it for now we will have to depart from the town of provident oaks we will return here once again later on of course in another time in another video for now we will have to end this here and as usual thank you to everyone who have watched so far i wouldn't say like a lot of things if you like well just like the video if you haven't subscribed go subscribe to me and yes if you have anything that you want to say if you are happy with this kind of development <laughs> i like i'm so happy with this kind of development of course so yes i'm happy with this development so if you feel the same way as i do do comment as well okay share with me your opinion in the comment section it's always open for you to type there okay all right i think that's it thank you everyone thank you to all of you who have watched this far <laughs> i'll see you in the next one atsuri bye bye <laughs> i got a kiss
this, I get this, I get a G, I get this.